Fairly Odd Parents Wiki 8074 Pages S-I-G-N-I-N-R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R Explore Original Series Live Action A New Wish Community More 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 Cosmo Julius Cosma Gender Male Species Fairy Age Eternity Hair Color Dark Mint Green Eye Color Yellow Green Home World Fairy World Earth Personal Information Residence 123 Fishbowl Lane Turner Residence Dimsdale, California United States of America Earth Affiliations Cosma Family Cosma Fairy Winkle Family Occupation Fairy Godparent Seymour Aliases Clefto Seymour Friends Vicky, sometimes Dark Laser, sometimes Enemies Anticosmo Antifairies Wandissimo Magnifico Pixies Denzel Crocker Vicky the Babysitter Dark Laser Seymour Love Interests Wanda, Wife Blonda Tooth Fairy, One-Sided Crush Brandilyn, Ex-Girlfriend One-Sided Crush Godfamily Godchildren 2001 Series Timmy Turner Chloe Carmichael Seymour A Fairly Odd Movie Series Timmy Turner Seymour Fairly Odder Viv Turner Roy Raskin Seymour A New Wish Hazel Wells Seymour Family Parents Papa Cosmo, Father Mama Cosma, Mother Siblings Schnozmo, Older Brother Spouse, S, Wanda Fairy Winkle, Wife Children Poof, Son In, Featured Articles, Fairies, Magical Cosmo Character Trivia Appearances Gallery Philip Cosmo, Talking to His Favorite Nickel, Philip Cosmo Julius Fairy Winkle Cosma, N.E. Cosma is the deuteragonist of the Fairly Odd Parents alongside his wife Wanda. And one of the main characters on the show. He is one of Timmy and Chloe's fairy godparents alongside his wife, Wanda, and his son, Periwinkle, formerly Poof. Cosmo is one of the dumbest characters on the show, rivaled only by Timmy's dad, and his ideas are what often lead Timmy into trouble. He is also, at times, a bit over-emotional. Cosmo is voiced by Darren Norris in both the cartoon and the live-action Fairly Odd Movie and its sequels. A humanized version of Cosmo also appeared in the first live-action movie, played in live-action by Jason Alexander. He also appears in its short-lived sequel series, The Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odder where he acts as one of Viv and Roy's fairy godparents, the other being his wife, Wanda. Like in the original series, he is voiced by Darren Norris. The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder never canonically happened, so going by Fairly Odd canon, these events never happened. Cosmo appears again in the Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish this time as one of Hazel Wells' fairy godparents, along with Wanda. He is still voiced by Darren Norris to this day. Contents, Hide. One Character. 1.1 Description. Two Personality. 2.1 Food. 2.2 Intelligence. Three Background. 3.1 Early Life 3.2 Meeting Wanda 3.3 Family 3.4 Birth of Poof 
3.5 Future Life 3.5.1 Live Action Movies 3.5.2 Main Series 4 Relationships 4.1 Cosmo and Wanda 4.2 Cosmo and Timmy 4.3 Cosmo and Periwinkle 4.4 Cosmo and George and Von Strangle 4.5 Cosmo and Sparky 4.6 Cosmo and Hazel 5 Cosmos Weaknesses 6 Trivia 7 See Also Character and 36 More English VIEWSOURCE A New Wish Original Fairly Order 136 Fandom Beta Fan Central Games Anime Movies TV Video Wikis Starter Wiki Grandparents Grandpa Gonzo, Paternal Grandfather Nana Boom Boom Maternal Grandmother Pets Kyle the Ant Cindy the Bee Steve the Hog Jimmy the Cat Snowball the Hydra Others Big Daddy, Father-in-Law Mama Fairy Winkle Mother-in-Law Blonda, Sister-in-Law George Ern Von Strangle, First Cousin Production Information First Appearance The Fairly Odd Parents The Fairly Odd Parents Cake, Dance, and Solid Gold Pants The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder Fly the Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish Last Appearance Fancy Schmancy The Fairly Odd Parents Fairies Away Part 2, The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder The Battle of the Big Wand, The Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish Voiced by Darren Norris Diana DeGamo Singing. Voice for Gimme the. Wand. Played by, Liv. Action. Jason Alexander. As of the Fairly Odd Parents, a new wish Cosmo is Hazel Wells' current fairy godfather. Formerly being Timmy Turner's fairy. Godfather, and later on Chloe Charmichael's, however it's unknown if this canonically happened due to it never being mentioned. In the Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish Cosmo canonically was never the fairly godfather to Viv Turner and Roy Raskin. Because as of the current canon, the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odd never canonically happened, this is because in the Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish, it is never mentioned that Cosmo and Wanda knew Viv Turner and Roy Raskin, with them only. Mentioning Timmy Turner as their last godkid before Hazel Well, meaning as of current canon Viv Turner, Roy Raskin and the entirety of the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder, and its events, never happened. Along with his wife, Wanda, he was tasked with making miserable human children happy by granting them wishes and keeping them safe. Unfortunately, due to Cosmos, Immense lack of intelligence, he often puts Timmy in danger with his wishes or misinterprets the wording of a wish and grants it. Wrong, wreaking havoc. Despite his low IQ and carefree attitude, he really does love his wife and his godchildren. It is hard for him to be apart from Wanda, and he gets extremely jealous when other men, particularly Juan Dissimo, flirt with her. He often goes along with Timmy's wishes, unlike Wanda who is a little strict about them. He and Wanda eventually have a child named Poof, which then was changed to Piri. He is the youngest son of the overprotective Mama Cosma, 
who did not approve of him marrying Wanda Fairy Winkle Cosma in the least bit and has often tried to separate the two. Cosmo was once the last fairy ever born, as his birth caused the ban of fairy babies until Poof came along. Courtesy of Timmy's wish, he was apparently also in a band where he played the electric triangle, although he was terrible, as tomatoes were thrown at him every time he played. Description Cosmo has green hair and green eyes. His pants, shoes, and tie are black. He almost always wears a long sleeve white shirt. Like all fairy godparents, he has a magic wand, fly like wings for hovering and flying, and a crown that floats above his head. Cosmo seems to have gotten most of his appearance from his long lost father, Papa Cosmo. Surprisingly, despite being a magical creature, he has a navel, source. Episode Timmy TV in Season 5 In the Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish, Cosmo now wears a brown belt. Due to him pretending to be Hazel's human neighbor. Now, he has a commonly used human form. While in this form, he has a slight gut and a single strand of chest hair sticking out. And he wears gold star-shaped sunglasses with purple lenses, a white shirt a green jacket with a bowling logo on the back, dark blue sweatpants, white socks and purple sandals. Personality Cosmo is usually the cause behind Timmy's crazy adventures, often misunderstanding circumstances, or agreeing to grant a dumb wish. He will sometimes cause Timmy to realize what has to be done to reverse a wish, but this does not happen often. He also keeps a diary, which has all of his deepest, darkest secrets, including the fact that he is afraid of the hunt. He is often the subject of magic from Wanda, who usually does something to him to shut him up, including zipping his mouth and then encasing him in vanadium. There are countless other scenarios. He is often rather careless but loves Wanda, Peary. Timmy Turner and plays as a very loving father, as to Peary, and godfather to Timmy, and husband. Cosmo is noted to be one of the most powerful fairies ever, seeing as he blew up all of fairy world in the first five seconds after he was born, sunk Atlantis nine times, destroyed fairy world again five more times, caused Mount Vesuvius to erupt and destroy Pompeii transformed Zanaju into Pittsburgh, summoned up a gigantic three-headed hydra, whom he dubbed Snowball, with one careless wave of his wand, and was able to accidentally wish away Wanda's wand and make wands. In wishology, which is something that it is said that fairies cannot do when they say that magic cannot wish away magic. These actions would make the fairies decide not to have any more children until Peary was born 10,000 years later. Cosmo also has had a big crush on the Tooth Fairy in some episodes but yet never had a chance to show it because she is in a relationship with George Ern. Cosmo is also very ticklish. Cosmo has flirted or had interest with quite a few other women in the show, which makes Wanda very jealous and angry. There have been many instances in the show that shows Cosmo flirting or having interests with other women, including the Tooth Fairy, an evil alien princess named Mandy, and even Wanda's twin sister Blonda. While pregnant with Poof forward slash Peary during Fairly Odd Baby, Cosmo experienced severe mood swings so much so that his temper even scared Wanda and Timmy. In Lights Out he even went along with Wanda's plan to get back at Timmy who had scared Poof after reading the young fairy baby a scary story. Food He seems to have an obsession over most food especially red meat, bacon, wieners, ham, etc. Almost every time he is seen with food it is exaggerated. It has even become a running gag in the series. 
The first time he was seen to love red meat was in hard copy with bacon as he could not resist it when Wanda made it. However, there are a few foods he doesn't like. This includes beets and sauerkraut. Other times that food has been exaggerated are Wishology Wieners Antipoof, Hoagies Scary God Couple, Rum Prost and Veal Parmesan Fairly Odd Baby, Jelly in His Ear Timmy's Secret Wish Barbecue Advertisement Advertisement Intelligence Cosmos Intellect, or Lack of Thereof is often a source of many of the disastrous wishes that happen on the show. His head is quite literally empty and has no brain inside to speak of. According to Fairly Odd Baby, his head is completely full of jelly. He will either misinterpret a wish completely, ignore a rule or plot point which would prevent the wish from easily being unwished or outright wish grant the wrong thing that leads to trouble for Timmy. However, there are occasionally times when Cosmo is able to grant a wish on his own without Wanda just fine, such as in Where's Wanda. In earlier episodes, Cosmo and Wanda usually split some of the blame, being two halves of a whole idiot, but in later seasons it is usually just Cosmo being irresponsible that leads to chaos. In some rare cases, especially in a few season 7 episodes, Cosmo shows brief and uncharacteristic bouts of knowledge when he is able to guess or summarize the plot of an episode without any other character knowing what is going on. It can also be argued that since giving birth to Poof, Cosmo has started to mature little by little as he learns to be a father. Despite his lack of intelligence, he was smart. Enough to invent a board game by the name of Cosmonopoly, a parody of the non-fictional board game Monopoly. In the early oh yeah. Cartoons shorts, Cosmo was considerably more intelligent, and Wanda less intelligent, than how he would later be in the show. Cosmo has a strange obsession over a nickel whom he named Philip which adds more remedial to his character since he stated Philip was a girl nickel. In season 9's episode I Dream of Cosmo, it is revealed that Cosmo has raisins in his head so he can make raisin brain cereal, according to Wanda. It is also revealed that his brain is actually really, really small. Background Early life Ever since the day Cosmo was born, he has been causing chaos. When he got a magical rattle, he accidentally used it to turn George Ern into a bomb that blew up all of Fairy World. The second he got old enough to receive his first wand, he turned his father into a fly, never to be seen again. When Cosmo turned five, Mama Cosmo put him in art classes. Instead of painting, he caused an explosion that took out half the class while making an exploding daisy. Later on, because of his dangerous lack of control over his magic, his mother sent him to the Fairy Godparent Academy much to Cosmo's distress, where George Ern von Strangel, who at the time, a five-star commander in the Fairy Academy, taught him as well as many others. Cosmo has then been known as the worst thing to happen to fairy world everywhere. Examples include, when fairies learned accuracy with their magic and turned flying plates into birds and butterflies, he turned his plate into a destructive hydra that he named Snowball, which became his new pet, and while fairies discovered the strange place of Atlantis, Cosmo sunk it nine times gaining the nickname the Accursed One. This caused George Earn to lose his stars and gain a strong despise of Cosmo, as well as ban fairy babies from being born. Meeting Wanda After graduating with the worst results, he became a full-fledged fairy, and sunk Atlantis another eight times. The Amazing and Unbelievable 
chaos and destruction Cosmo caused in his life out of his carelessness and stupidity made the Supreme Fairy Council have George and Addo. New rule to the rules that would forbid the birth of any more fairy babies, making Cosmo the last fairy ever born, until Timmy wished they had a baby and poof forward slash Peary was born, George Ern wrote the rule on a sticky note but never officially put it in. Because he was so disaster prone. Nobody wanted to be around him, turning him into an outcast who was bullied by everyone, even the nerds. While he was working at a fast food restaurant, he met Wanda, which happened to be love at first sight proposed to her with a chewed pen cap, and they later got married. But, according to Nick.com's short Cosmos baby book, Cosmo and Wanda first met when they were babies. It's possible that since they were babies, Cosmo and Wanda forgot about their meeting and met again at a restaurant years after their first meeting. However, this is completely contradicted in Cosmonopoly when Wanda says that they met when Cosmo accidentally ran her over with his car. Family Cosmo's family includes his mother, the overprotective Mama Cosma, and his father, Papa Cosmo, who he turned into a fly. He also has an unseen grandfather, Grandpa Gonzo. His wife is Wanda Fairy Winkle Cosma, who Mama Cosma hates, his son is Peary formerly known as Poof, and his current godchild is Hazel Wells, formerly being Timmy Turner. He also has an older brother called Schnozmo, although earlier on in the series, Wanda said that Cosmo was an only child. Recently, Mama Cosma has not been as mean to Wanda, possibly implying that since Peary was born, they had a truce. Birth of Poof Main article fairly odd baby. About a year or so after receiving Cosmo as his fairy godparent, Timmy wishes that Cosmo and Wanda would have a baby together in hopes that they would become happier. Due to the awkward way that fairy pregnancy works, Cosmo was the one who became pregnant, instead of Wanda. He began to throw up purple goo. Everywhere, had strange mood swings and cravings and his belly became big and round. Although the Pixies and Antifairies were plotting to steal Cosmo and Wanda's baby away, they did not succeed, and Cosmo and Wanda welcomed a son named Poof, before changing his name to Peary, into their family. Future Life Live Actions Movies Main Article, Live Action Movies In the live action film A Fairly Odd Movie, Grow up, Timmy Turner, Cosmo is still Timmy Turner's fairy godfather after 13 years. Cosmo is seen in both CGI animated form, voiced by Darren Norris, and a live-action human form where he is played by Jason. Alexander In the film, Cosmo and Wanda try to put a stop to Timmy's budding relationship with Tootie, because if he falls in love with her, he will no longer be considered to be a child. And he will lose his fairies forever. At one point, Cosmo and Wanda transform themselves into humans in order to disrupt Timmy and Tootie's date. After Tootie is captured by Hugh J. Magnate Jr., Cosmo and Wanda initially decide not to rescue her, so that they can stay with Timmy, but Poof gives them an intense stare of guilt and brings them to realize they've been doing the wrong thing. They are then suddenly captured by Mr. Crocker and placed in his atomic fairy incarcerator, where their magic is rerouted so that they are forced to grant magnates wishes, which also slowly drains away their life force. However, Timmy manages to save them by confessing his love to Tootie and passionately kissing her which causes him to officially lose his fairies due to him having now officially grown up, but also frees them from Magnate. In the end, because of how much Timmy loved them, though, the Fairy Council adds the Timmy Turner loophole to the rules, allowing Cosmo, Wanda, and Poof. Advertisement Cosmo and Wanda's first 
meeting. Cosmo and Wanda in their goldfish form. Advertisement. Cosmo with his wife and son in. Grow up, Timmy Turner. To stay with Timmy into his adulthood, and with Tootie allowed to know of their existence as long as Timmy uses their magic to help people and not for his own gain. Then, in a fairly odd Christmas, he's still alongside Timmy and Tootie, as they run the wishful thinking van around the world granting wishing. When all the wish granting bothers Santa Claus, he follows Timmy to the North Pole. When Timmy makes a wish inside Santa's workshop, Cosmo is the one who tries to grant it but his wand ends up firing a magic bean into Santa's direction, making him fall and get injured. Timmy then must go on a quest to meet Elmer the Elder Elf, the only one capable of fixing this mess. Cosmo goes with Timmy, even though he was afraid of the danger they could face. He was convinced by Wanda to go, even without magic. Due to the North Pole's polarity. At the end of a fairly odd summer Timmy becomes a fairy and Cosmo, Wanda and Poof are assigned as the new godparents of Marty and Mitzi. It's most likely the live-action movies aren't a part of the fairly odd canon. Main Series In Channel Chasers it is shown that he and Wanda will become fairy godparents to Timmy's future children T-A-M-M-Y and T-O-M-M-Y, however it's unlikely that it's happened yet. And it's very much possible that Channel Chaser's ending will be retconned from current Fairly Odd Parents canon, since in the Fairly Odd Parents, a new wish, Timmy. Turner is mentioned by name to have been Cosmo and Wanda's last godkid before Hazel Wells. It will be more likely that it's retconned if Timmy makes an appearance in A New Wish Season 2, that A, doesn't match his Channel Chaser's appearance, and B, isn't shown to be married to Trixie Tang, more likely, or Tutti, less likely. Relationships Cosmo and Wanda Main article, Cosmo and Wanda, pairing Cosmo and Wanda is considered the official pairing of the show and has countless episodes and merchandise which support it. Cosmo is shown to love and care about his wife very much. In some episodes, this is inverted, and Cosmo seems to dislike Wanda or want to escape from marriage, but this is almost universally considered to have no true intention and has never had a long-term effect on their relationship in the series. In some episodes, Cosmo always defends Wanda and gets jealous of Juan Dissimo. This proves that Cosmo really loves his wife and always will. Cosmo and Wanda met when they were teenagers. Cosmo was a nerd that worked a diner, and Wanda was a popular girl. Cosmo proposed to Wanda with a chewed pen cap. They eventually got married, and have been so for about 10,000 years. Despite their contrasting personalities and their tendencies to argue, they stay married and have a good relationship. Wanda usually acts as the mind, and the bravery. While Cosmo acts as the fun. Cosmo often regards Wanda as a nag and neglects her words, sometimes even when they are in his favor. Cosmo and Timmy. Main article. Cosmo and Timmy. In some cases, Cosmo's stupidity rubs off the wrong way on Timmy, and he is usually the one causing Timmy to make a bad wish when Wanda is advising against it. Cosmo and Timmy share more of a buddy relationship rather than a father-son relationship. As seen in the episode Flyboy, Cosmo and Timmy both disobeyed Wanda telling them they can't see the movie. I was a teenage blowfly. Despite falling for Cosmo's ideas, Timmy is usually well aware of how unintelligent Cosmo really is, as seen in What's the Difference? When Timmy found one of the missing ones and was about to give it to Cosmo, but realized the error of his decision and quickly gave it to Wanda. Instead. But if Cosmo's idea sounds fun enough, 
Timmy will go with it anyways. Usually, Cosmo's the one who encourages Timmy to make a dumb wish, or it's his idea. However, there are some rare cases in which Cosmo and Wanda switch places, and Cosmo does the worrying. Instead of Wanda. This is shown in Just Deserts. When Cosmo was against the idea of everybody eating only sweets, and Wanda was all for it because of her love of chocolate. This was even used as a recurring joke with Cosmo saying, I'm not usually one to insert something Wanda would do, that's Wanda, but various times throughout the episode. Despite all of this, Timmy and Cosmo care about each other very much and they would do what they can to protect each other and make each other happy, along with Wanda and eventually, poof. Cosmo and Periwinkle. Main article, Cosmo and Poof. Cosmo and Peri, back when he went by Poof, have a good relationship like a young father and infant son would have. Poof refers to Cosmo. As Dada and somewhat recognizes his father's stupidity, but loves him with all his heart. Whenever Cosmo and Wanda get taken away. From Poof. He starts to cry and will usually be stopped by Timmy, who makes faces to stop him from crying. Just like Wanda, Cosmo couldn't live with himself knowing that something happened to his baby. In A New Wish, it's shown that Cosmo still cares for his son, and Peary does too for his dad, but is shown to be embarrassed by his father. Cosmo in a fairly odd Christmas Advertisement Cosmo and Wanda's Romance Blossoming Advertisement Cosmo and Timmy Cosmo and Poof, Baby Expand, V, E, D Expand, V, E, D Cosmo and George earn Von Strangle In Cosmo Rules, Cosmo learns that he is George Ern Von Strangle's first cousin. George Ern often bullies Cosmo, as he does everyone, and Cosmo shows fear of George Ern. In This Is Your Wish, it is revealed that George Ern holds a large amount of animosity toward Cosmo for ruining the lives of, and possibly killing, many people, causing much chaos, and ruining civilizations countlessly during his time at the Fairy Academy, in which George Ern acted as his drill sergeant. Since then, he has been acting out revenge by tormenting Cosmo and his wife, Wanda. Whenever he remembers the events, he is shown in a rare sight of pity and regret, until bursting with anger towards Cosmo. Cosmo's constant over-imaginated stupidity caused George Ern to create a new rule focusing on Cosmo by keeping from the birth of any more fairies that could be like Cosmo. Despite this, George Ern enjoys the company of Cosmo rather than Wanda. In several episodes, George Ern blames Wanda for is clearly Cosmo's fault, and refers to him like a bottle of a disaster waiting to happen every second. In current episodes, they get along much better. Cosmo and Sparky He has a really great relationship with Sparky. He apparently has fleas and bites on his butt like Sparky on Fairly Odd Pet. They sometimes cause havoc together. However, ever since A New Wish, it's possible that Cosmo forgot about Sparky's existence, since Sparky ended up in Hocus Pocahontas after Timmy's wishes were unwished when he eventually lost his fairy godparents. Cosmo and Chloe he likes Chloe and seems to prefer her over Timmy this has been true as he seemed to have to know if you watch the Fair Bears with her in the The Fair Bears. Cosmo and Hazel Cosmo is shown to like Hazel, although it's possible he liked Timmy more than her. Please update this, I can't think of anything else to write right now. Cosmo's weaknesses The Hunt, revealed in a bad case of diarrhea. Super Toilet, revealed in Superbike. Butterfly Nets, 
all fairies weakness, revealed in Abra catastrophe, fairy idol and viral vidiots. George Earn, revealed in many episodes, prior to Poof's birth, in which he appears. Ig, teeth for two. Wanda's influence, many episodes in which he's nagged by her. Crocker, sometimes. Magical build-up, the same game and fairy idol. Churros, nine lives. Lint. Mr. Nene, big wonder. String, fairy idol. Bacon, hard copy. Being tickled, Miss Dimsdale. Peanuts, allergic, skirrily puffs. Big Daddy. Trivia. In turning into Turner, a close-up shot of his future driver's license reveals. Cosmo is 3-6. He has no weight. He is an organ donor. His legal name name reads Cosmo Fairywin before it is cut off by the screen, therefore likely giving his legal name as Cosmo Fairywinkle or Fairywinkle. Cosma. This means he has legally changed or hyphenated his last name to match Wanda's, making Peary's, formerly Poof's, full name Periwinkle Fairywinkle. Cosma. See also. Cosma forward slash fairy winkle family. Cosma family. Cosmo and Wanda, pairing. Cosmo and Wanda's castle. Cosmo and Wanda's fishbowl. Cosmo. C H A R A C T E R G U I D E. Fairies. Magical creatures and wishes. Categories. Languages. Advertisement. Cosmo, along with Wanda and Binky, being flattened by George Earn. Advertisement. Cosmo Future Driver's License. From Turning into Turner. Explore Properties. Fandom. Muthid. Fanatical. Follow US. Overview. Recent Images. Popular Pages. Community content is available under CC by SAR unless otherwise noted. More fandoms. Fantasy. Hazel Wells. Three days ago. Dimsdale Elementary Denzel. School. Four days ago. Crocker forward slash images. Five days ago. Peary. The Fairly Odd Parents, a new. Wish. Timmy Turner. Dev Dimmerdome. Poof. What is fandom? About. Careers. Press. Contact. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Digital Services Act. Global Site Map. Local Site Map. Community. Community Central. Support. Help. Advertise. Media Kit. Contact. Fandom Apps. Take your favorite fandoms with you and never miss a beat. Fairly Odd Parents Wiki is a fandom TV community. View Mobile Site.